you've read my articles or you've watched some of the other videos that I've created, you know that one of our goals here at the Hinesburg Town Forest is to make relatively young forests more like old forests. So old forests are something that we know we had a lot of on our landscape just a couple hundred years ago and something which is relatively underrepresented across our landscape now. Old forests are not good just because they're old. They're good because of how they are. As forests develop, they develop complexity. They develop this irregular canopy, which is punctuated by gaps, big old trees, and also trees of all different sizes and ages, and also lots of dead wood on the forest floor. All of these attributes that old forests have are synonymous with different habitats. So there's a lot of different critters that will utilize trees of different species, of different sizes, that will utilize a structurally diverse forest with a multi-layered canopy, that will utilize dead wood. And forest complexity is also synonymous with resilience and adaptability. So as our climate changes and as our forest responds to all these innumerable stressors that they're experiencing, a diverse, complex forest uh, gives it a lot of tools in its toolkit to sort of respond to those conditions that are coming down the pike. At a time when our biodiversity is threatened both locally and globally, we want to do what we can to provide habitat for all of our native species and to protect our biodiversity. And what that means in some cases is actively creating conditions on our landscape, habitats, sooner than they would naturally occur. So in the case of old forests, it might take a forest anywhere between 150 to 300 or even more years uh, to develop all of these attributes. In the area where I'm standing right now at the Heinsberg Town Forest, there are a lot of older trees, but we don't yet see those attributes of that patchy irregular canopy, different sizes and ages of trees, and also dead wood that we would if this was an old forest. And so this is a, an opportunity for us to create those conditions now. We're lucky in this area because one of the hardest parts of growing old forests is growing those old trees. So old big trees are an important part of old forest ecology and of any forest ecology. And so besides thinning around our existing trees to help them get bigger faster, there's very little we can do to accelerate that process of tree growth. It just takes a long time. But in this one area where I'm standing, we actually really have that in place. And so now what we need to do is to accelerate the process of developing that complexity and those other characteristics. And the way that we're gonna do this is by strategically cutting trees. This will include cutting some big trees, cutting trees in a pocket to make a gap or a group to establish a new generation of trees, what we call a cohort of regeneration. Uh, and to create some of that structural diversity, the diversity in sizes and ages of trees that we want to see. We're also really excited about the dead wood that will stay on the ground after this process. So I've instructed the logger to cut the tops off of trees and to not lop them up at all and to leave lots of dead wood in the forest. So the process of dead wood deposition that would take a long time through the attrition of trees, trees dying, is going to be accelerated and we're going to create those dead wood characteristics much sooner than they would naturally occur. At the same time, we don't want to just go through and cut all the big trees to create lots of regeneration. We want to also allow those, those characteristics that are associated with trees naturally aging, declining even, and dying uh, to still be here. And so in this area, in addition to cutting some big trees, you'll also see a lot of trees that are designated with an L, and that means they're a legacy tree. They're a tree whose sole role is just to be big and to be old and to eventually to become big dead trees. In addition to actively managing these areas to become more like an old forest, to become more complex, and to provide all those different habitats that are associated with that really complex old forest, we're also right up against the area at the Hinesburg Town Forest that we call the reserve zone. So this is a large area at the Hinesburg Town Forest which is remaining unmanaged, which is also really important because we recognize that responsible forest management and that some areas being unmanaged and being allowed to sort of manage themselves both are complementary strategies for achieving a diversity of different conditions and habitats across our landscape.